guys, did you miss me at all? Yes, I know. I don't have an intro for these videos just yet. I know I've been saying that for a while, but I'm still trying to think of a intro for these videos. And also, I kind of had a little mishap with my new mascot that I'm working on. So, yeah, I didn't realize that he was going to like have a little mishap, but I'm trying to work on it and hopefully he will be done soon. I'm going to be having four mascots and I'm actually working on two of them. I'm trying to get both of them done. Hopefully if they're not done by this coming month in October, hopefully they will be done by next year and hopefully I'll have like my entire YouTube channel out of the construction stage and actually working on more stuff and having like an update video and all that stuff. I know I've been promising you guys for a while, but I'm sorry. I just have a lot of things going on, but you know, I'm trying to get everything done as soon as possible. If it won't be by this month, it'll hopefully be by next year. So yeah, anyways, I just want to say before I start this video off, I'm sorry for not posting for a week and also not posting a lot. I have been going through a little bit of creative burnout. I do have like video ideas and stuff. I just couldn't get myself to film a lot and also I'm trying to get out of creative burnout as well as I'm trying to get a little bit more motivated because my motivation is kind of almost like a light switch. I either have it and like I have motivation like on or my motivation literally like will switch off in like a matter of like a few minutes. Sometimes I'll like get stuff out and then my motivation will just like die and it's really weird. I don't know why my motivation does that. Like literally I will have motivation and I get stuff out. It's just like it's gone. So I don't know, but I'm trying my best to get over creative burnout and also get my motivation back. So hopefully there will be more videos. I have a lot of video ideas coming in October. As you guys know, spooky month is literally approaching us. By the time you see this, literally October 1st will be tomorrow. And also for the spooky vibes, we've got some ghost, little ghosties on the like in the background i love that little background i haven't used it before actually i've had it for like a year or two now but i really wanted to use it so i decided to use it today's video is not going to be a spooky concept but i will tell you there will be some more spooky content in october i promise you i have so many horror shorts and a halloween special you guys are not ready for it but anyways, let's get into what today's video is about. Today's video is a six things video. I know I typically do five things, but today I decided to do six things because I couldn't just think of five. And I haven't done one of these videos in actually a really long time, like a five or six things video. So I decided to do one today and I'm really, really excited to do this one because I'm pretty sure a lot of us can relate to this. Anyways, let's get into what today's video is actually about. If you read by the title, today's video is six things I miss about being a kid. If you did not know, I am not a kid. I am an adult. Adulting is not fun. It is pretty boring and everything. But I mean, there's some good things about it. But eh, I really do miss being a kid because of a lot of things. And yeah, but I hope you guys can relate to this video if you are either a teenager or an adult like I am. And kids, if you are still in childhood, enjoy your childhood because it is not going to be with you forever. It is kind of sad and I really do miss being a kid. But anyways, let's get into the six things I miss about being a kid. And also if you guys can relate to any of these please let me know in the comment section below and we can reminisce on the good days and being a kid at heart anyways. So yeah. Thing number one, 
the shows I grew up with, cartoons and like kid shows. I'm not saying that if you're an adult, you can't watch like cartoons and like little kid shows. I'm just saying that a lot of the shows I grew up with don't even air on TV anymore. I'll show like some pictures on the screen of some titles or pictures if I can find it on the screen somewhere of shows I used to watch as a kid. But some of the shows that I used to watch as a kid don't even air on the TV anymore. It's kind of sad. And today, some of the shows, I'm just like, how is this educational? I used to watch a lot of shows back in the day. And I think they were more educational than some of the shows today. But some of the shows today, they've actually rebooted them. And I'm very confused of why certain characters have phones now. I mean, I know this generation is, you know, really technology-based, but I'm just like, why couldn't they have kept the show, like, the way it was when I used to I watch it as a kid? But I understand why they do that. But I do miss some of the cartoons and shows I grew up with that they don't air on TV anymore. But... Yeah, it's kind of sad because I really, really miss those shows. And the only way that you can really watch them is if you can, like, find them on the internet somewhere or if you decide to pay for them on YouTube or something. It's kind of sad that, like, you can't find them anymore. So, yeah. Wait, what time is it? Two o'clock, Mark the Speaks comes on. Maybe that's still out there. Is it still out there? Wait, what? Martha Speaks doesn't exist anymore? Wait, okay. Uh, does Curious George play? No, Sesame Street. Oh, Sesame Street still play. Why does Elmo have a phone? Who is that? Uh, why does Cookie Monster have cookies falling? What is going on? When I was younger, Cookie Monster was doing the letter of the day with cookies. And he was also putting cookies and like safes and everything else not to eat it. Why does Cookie Monster have cookies? Why does Elmo have a cell phone? Where's Dorothy? Where is Dorothy the fish? Where did she go? Is she still alive? Like, what is going on? Who are you? I have never seen you with Elmo. I'm sorry. But what is going Where's Big Bird? Where's Big Bird and Cephalophagus and Oscar the Grouch? <sighs> Fine, I'm not watching TV today. I'll just... Go do something else. I just want my childhood shows back. <laughs> okay, so it's not that dramatic, but you get the point. It's still sad that some of our beloved kids' shows are really not here anymore today. So, yeah, but anyways, let's move on to thing number two. Not having to worry about getting a job or doing bills. So, if you're like me and you're an adult, you have to get a job and pay bills. Some people get a job to either help their parents like with paying rent or like a mortgage or help to pay the bills or stuff like that. Also people get a job to help get money so that they can pay for things that they want and also get a understanding of like what work ethic is. So yeah but I have been doing bills since I was probably like 17. I do help my parents with the bills and stuff, but they're not fun. They're really not fun. Bills and getting a job are not fun, but you do have to help out since you are an adult. And some of it actually does come with like a good thing. Like you get your own money and you can spend it on like whatever you want to. And you can also invest money and stuff like that. But when you were a kid, you really didn't have to worry about this because your parents did it all and you didn't have to ever worry about it. But now that you're an adult, you kind of have to worry about it because eventually you're going to be out in the real world and you're going to have to do all of this yourself without any help. Okay, I got the bills today. Rent? Why is rent $1,000? Does it cost a thousand dollars to rent this? Oh my lord! Okay, water is two hundred. Who is using all the water? What? Okay. Uh, car is. 
okay, I'm going to be spending like $5,000. I don't make $5,000. I'm just going to figure out what I can't pay this month. I don't like doing bills. I want to go back to being a child. At least I didn't have to worry about this. And also, tomorrow, I have to go into work at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. When I was a child, I was sleeping at 8 a.m. Or still up all night. I miss being a kid so much. Why do I have to worry about bills? This is too hard. I don't want to do it anymore. Adulting sucks and I just want to go back to being a kid. I guess we're just going to have to... I guess the car can't be paid for. I'm sorry, but I don't make $5,000 a month. I I can't pay for the car. I'm just going to have to get rid of something. Either the internet or the car. This is too hard. Uh, screw it. Screw it. I can't do this right now. Thing number three. Being excited for your birthday and birthday parties. I'm not saying that like adults can't have birthday parties. I'm just saying that... When you were a kid, birthday parties were like everything to you and you loved them and you loved when your parents would throw them for you and stuff like that and then you would get everything and like birthday cakes and stuff like that. I'm not saying that like you can't have birthday cakes or cupcakes when you're an adult. It's just that your birthday seemed a lot more exciting when you were a kid and also you were excited for your birthday to come because you knew you were going to get presents and like all that stuff and... Now that I'm an adult, usually my family doesn't really, like, know what to get me. So, usually they get me, like, they usually, like, give me money so I can buy my own stuff. Because some family members, like, they still know I like LPS and, like, different things like that. But they used to get me, like, different stuff for my birthday. And sometimes they weren't LPS stuff, but I would use them for LPS and, like, stuff like that. And it's kind of sad because... We don't really get birthday presents. We pretty much have to like buy our own or have our parents buy us birthday presents that they can, that we either know of or they just like go online and buy you something. But yeah, also with birthday parties, when you were a kid, you were excited to get older. But now that you're like an adult, you're like, I'm literally like one year closer to death. I know that's kind of depressing, but like, you're like, I'm literally one year closer to death. And as you get older, you're like, I wish I was a kid because I don't want to be this old. I feel like I'm getting old. Like, it is sad. I mean, I'm not as old as, like, some people out there. But it's, like, it's so sad because, like, why can't we just stay a kid forever? Like, why can't we have, like, energy and actually be a kid forever and not have to worry about getting older? Like, it's scary. People say, like, getting older is fun. No, it's not. It is scary. It is still scary. Okay, everybody, I'm going home. I clocked out. See you later. Wait, 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 wait. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Uh, oh, Mackenzie, hey. Uh, why did you not want me to leave? Isn't it your birthday today? Uh, yeah, but how did you know? I heard it from one of our co-workers. Happy birthday! I really hope you have a good day! How old are you now? Uh, okay, like the mom side came out of you. One, please don't talk to me like I'm a child. And two, I'm 21 years old. I just turned 21 today. I'm gonna go now um bye <laughs> don't leave i just wanted to say happy birthday and i hope you have a great birthday and also if you would like to since tomorrow's like friday if you would like to go out and get some drinks or something we can definitely do that or i could throw you a party <laughs> no i don't really need a birthday party and i'm fine i i'll find something to do i'm actually going out with my friends tomorrow but yeah, um, I'm gonna go. Thank you for the birthday wish, though. But 
my birthday isn't really that exciting anymore. I mean, I'm one year closer to death, so... Yeah, I mean, 21 is a big milestone, I guess, but I'm gonna go now. Uh, bye. <laughs> Thing number four. Playing outside until it gets dark. So have you ever heard your parents say the expression, you can play outside until the street light comes on and then you have to come inside? Well, if you've never heard that, that means that when the street light comes on, you have to go inside and either eat dinner, get a bath, do whatever else so that you can go to bed so that you can get up for school. But also, if it's summertime, you definitely didn't have to worry about that. But today, probably kids don't know about that because a lot of kids use technology and they don't really go outside and play anymore. Because when we were growing up, we had TV, yes, but we didn't have exactly technology that we could be on every day. So we had to find other ways to entertain ourselves and we went outside and we played with either the neighbors or we played by ourselves or we just did something outside like ride bikes or skateboard or just anything. I remember playing with the neighbors that I had and also the kids that I grew up with because there was actually one like when I was a kid, there was a house across the street from me that used to have their granddaughters come over. Uh, I haven't seen them in a while, so I have no idea if they even come over anymore. But I was hanging out with them one time and every time I would hang out with them, I would usually go home about like 11. So I would go across the street and their grandpa used to watch me and make sure I was alright. But we would be outside like every day We'd be doing all sorts of different stuff, or we'd be downstairs in the basement doing different stuff. But we were usually outside, like, having a ball, or I used to play with the neighborhood kids that were down the street from me a little bit. But, yeah, it's kind of sad because all of us have pretty much grown up, and some of them are in high school, and some of them are in college, so I don't see them anymore. But, yeah, it kind of makes, like, it makes me miss being a kid because I used to play with these people I used to like ride bikes and play games with them and it was just really really fun and I used to go to their birthday parties and stuff like that but I kind of miss it I really do I miss like talking to them and everything like that because I used to go to school with them too but yeah I pretty much miss like being outside like when it was literally dark and we would catch like fireflies and stuff like that and we would just have a ball but I kind of miss really being a kid and just, you know, going outside and stuff like that and being outside until it was like literally dark, but yeah. Mom, I'm home. Okay, sweetie, dinner's almost ready. All right. Huh? Hey, the street light's coming on. Oh my lord. I remember when I was a little kid and the street light would come on and my mom would be like, Come inside, and I'd be like, five more minutes or something. <laughs> oh my lord, I loved being outside. Just kind of sad because the neighborhood kids, like, they're not even there anymore. Well, they're adults now, but it's kind of sad because I used to, you know, play with them and ride bikes together, and we used to play all sorts of different games and stuff like that, but... Sadly, they're adults now, and a lot of them are in college and high school, and we haven't talked in years, but I hope they're doing all right. I mean, it's just just really sad because I remember being, like, so close to them and being, like, really good friends with them, and I don't know. It's just like we kind of faded into um, being almost like strangers again, but... I don't know, I just don't really talk to them anymore, and it's just really sad. But I hope whatever they're doing with their lives, I hope their lives are great. It's just kind of sad. Food's ready! Okay, I'm coming, Mom. The nostalgia is just hitting me so hard right now. Thing number five. Having an imaginary friend. So if you were anything like me, you probably had an imaginary friend. And imaginary friends can be anything. They could be human. They could be dragons. They could be literally any species that you want. 
if you didn't have an imaginary friend, like, what was your childhood? But no, I'm just kidding. But if you had an imaginary friend, and if you remember your imaginary friend, like, comment down below. We can reminisce together. But I had an imaginary friend. I don't exactly remember what she looked like. Her name was Pinky. Do not ask me why. I have no idea but she was my imaginary friend and if you were anything like me when you would mess up your room or something with like toys everywhere would anybody else blame their imaginary friend be like she did it <laughs> or like he did it or pinky did it or like something like you would just blame your imaginary friend for it. and you know for a fact like your parents knew for a fact it was you but like sometimes they would play along with it and they'd be like like, what did you do, Pinky? Like, why did you do that? Why'd you mess up your room? Like, or why'd you mess up this person's room? Or, like, something like that. And it was kind of funny, but... Yeah, your imaginary friend could literally be anything, and you would talk to it. Nobody else could see it. Or sometimes your parents would play along, and some kids, they would be like, well, can Pinky have some food, too? And your parents would make, like, another sandwich or something for the imaginary friend but yeah I miss having an imaginary friend I don't remember the age that I like stopped you know talking about an imaginary friend but I have no idea but I think every child makes up an imaginary friend because some of us don't like some of us don't have anybody to talk to that day or play with that day so we just make up somebody imaginary and we play toys with them and we talk to them and everything like that so if you had an imaginary friend please comment down below if you remember the name of it and maybe like what species it was i think mine was human so yeah not really exciting but pinky was still an amazing imaginary friend and i kind of miss having an imaginary friend you know but yeah i can't watch movies like that just with anything to do with animals dying it's just it's way too sad i know right like i loved the funny movie that used to come out back in the day with like animals it's just it's too sad when animals have to go like that but anyways off the sad topic uh yesterday i was looking through like people's instagram stories and i saw something about an imaginary friend and everybody's like do you remember having an imaginary friend and you would blame them for your room being messy and then your parents would be like oh well so and so why did you do that why did you mess up this person's room and i was getting like so much nostalgia and i remember my imaginary friend my imaginary friend I think was named like Spiky or something. I don't remember. It was a dragon and it was so cool. Did you ever have an imaginary friend? Come to think of it, I did. I had a bunny. They were so cute. Actually, I think it was like, I think mine was like two or three feet tall. It was actually pretty, like it was like, like a gigantic bunny. And I think her name was like Bun Bun or something. I don't remember her name exactly, but she was like everything to me. And then I don't know what happened. Like one day I just stopped talking about her and then I just, I don't know what happened to her. I don't know if she like, I don't know. I really don't know. I wonder where imaginary friends go. I've always wondered that. Like, have you ever wondered like after you stop having an imaginary friend i wonder if they go somewhere like do they go to another child or do they go to this world where imaginary friends are forgotten or what happens i would really love to know because that's kind of sad i mean i'm older now and i don't really talk to imaginary friend i talk to my friends and like everything else but i wonder where imaginary friends go when you know kids get older and they don't or like they turn into teenagers and adults and they don't talk to them anymore i wonder that i do too like that's actually really interesting i never thought about that but anyways let's go get something to eat and we can continue this conversation come on i'm really hungry same here wait up hold on i actually do wonder about that i wonder where imaginary friends go when children don't play with them anymore or talk to them anymore if you guys have any theories of what you think happens to imaginary friends when a child doesn't 
talk to them or play with them anymore, please put them down in the comment section below. I at least believe maybe they go to another child or they go to a place where all the other imaginary friends are. I don't know, that's just like my theory, but I'm actually very interested in what you guys think because I wonder where imaginary friends go when like we don't play with them or talk to them anymore. That's actually a really interesting theory. Anyways, that's not what this video is about today, but let's get into the last thing. So last but not least, thing number six, having more energy to do stuff. So when you're a kid, you have like so much energy, like you can literally run a marathon and be perfectly fine. As you get older, you can still run and everything, but you get tired very easily. And it's just a lot. Like sometimes even trying to run just a little bit tires you out. Also, when you were a kid, did anybody else do this? Did anybody like stay up all night and only need like four hours of sleep and then you were like fine? Or you slept for like three hours and then you were like perfectly fine? I remember staying up when I was a kid till like five or six o'clock in the morning playing like all the games that people used to play like Movie Star Planet and Animal Jam and like Dragon City and like all that stuff that I used to play as a kid and I'd be on there for hours. I'd be talking to people from like different countries on Movie Star Planet and Animal Jam and it'd be like five o'clock in the morning and I'd still be up or I would be sitting there watching cartoons that came out like two or three in the morning or five in the morning and I still be up. Has anybody else did that when they were a kid and then like you went to sleep for like three hours and then you were perfectly fine? If I get three hours of sleep today, I will literally be so dead. Like I will not be able to function. I miss having energy as a kid and also I miss being able to stay up late. Like, oh my lord, like can I have that back please? <laughs> But being able to run around, being able to play, being able to not get out of breath after like running for like two minutes, it's a lot. I mean, I am not out of shape per se, but like I wish I had that energy still. Like have the energy to play and everything and have the energy to do things and not like lose motivation after like a few minutes. Like... I used to be able to dance to things and not get out of breath in like a few minutes. Nowadays, if I like dance around for five or ten minutes, I'm like almost dying. I need like a break. But yeah, I just miss having all that energy. Like where did the energy go? Why is it when you're an adult, the energy just like is like, peace out. Bye. I'm leaving. Like I want energy again. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> oh, I, oh, I need a minute. Oh, my God. Okay. I literally just ran all the way to the mailbox to see if there was a package. And the package was not there. And the mailman's not here either. And I think the mailman hasn't come yet. Because the package says that it was delivered, but it's not yet. <sighs> Maybe I have to check the app again and like refresh it or check the tracking number again or something. Because the mail doesn't... I need a second. Mail usually doesn't come till like 5 or 6. And I ran all the way to the mailbox and the mailbox is only about like 10 feet. And I don't know why I ran to it, but I did, and now I'm out of breath. I swear, when I was a child, I could run to the mailbox, I could run down the street, and be perfectly fine, and have so much energy. And now, I'm a adult. Where'd that energy go? Like, did it just, like, vanish and say goodbye? Like, peace out? Like, adios? Like, oh, I need a minute. I need, I need, I need, like, so much time. I, I need, I need to rest. I need some water. I feel like I'm gonna die. Lungs, just let me breathe. Heart, stop pumping. Like, well, continue to pump, but don't pump so fast. Oh, I need energy. I need to be a kid again and have so much energy. Oh, God. Oh. 
Okay, I gotta have to get up and get some water and just, like, lay on the couch for a few minutes. Because now I'm sweating, too. Like, oh my lord, like, can I... Can I have the energy I used to? Like, please. Oh, God. Oh, I miss being a kid so much and being able to run like a marathon and not be this tired. So, yeah, that is all for this video of six things I miss about being a kid. If any of you guys can relate to any of these, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to read your guys' comments. Please let me know if you relate to any of these. Also, if you guys have anything else you guys miss about being a kid that I did not mention in this video, please put that down in the comment section below as well. And I might do a part two with your guys' comments. But yeah, that is all for this video. I will see you guys in the next videos that I make. Get ready for October, which is literally tomorrow. But I hope you guys are ready for spooky season. I am so ready to put out so much spooky content. You guys are not ready for all of the horror shorts and music videos and just a lot of spooky stuff for Halloween. I am so excited. I love Halloween. If you didn't know that, Halloween is like my number one favorite holiday and I'm just excited because I cannot wait to show you guys all of the stuff that I have planned. I am slowly still getting out of like creative burnout. So if you don't see videos sometimes, I'm gonna try to go back to posting twice a week. But if you only see one video a week, just know that I'm still slowly getting out of creative burnout. And I'm also slowly getting my motivation back, but I am excited to be filming more and I'm going to try to be filming more over the next few weeks. I just cannot wait to show you guys what I have planned but I hope you guys are excited for those videos and as I said before I will hopefully have all of the updates and everything hopefully by this month or at least either at the end of the year or next year. I will definitely keep you guys posted and updated on my mascots and everything like that in the progress. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Stay strong, werewolves. Arr!